Let's recap. You must now manage the sales process as well as the procurement cycle. Try to balance your rate of sales with the frequency that you perform the procurement process. A key success factor to maximizing your profit is to ensure that you always have inventory available for sale. Remember, your customers will not accept back orders. At this point, we'll start the simulator and you are free to use the system and take actions as you see fit. At the end of the round, you will once again want to gauge how well you're doing and try to improve your performance. Having tried to balance your sales rate with your procurement cycle and with two rounds worth of reporting data to analyze, we're now in a position to consider adjusting our strategy. Now that you have a better feel for your customer markets and your supply chain characteristics, perhaps it's time for you to revisit your demand forecasts and change your replenishment levels. In essence, you should optimize the demand forecasts in the context of your replenishment cycle and supplier behavior. Perhaps certain products have higher demand than others. We could optimize our inventory levels and replenishment cycle to adjust for this. While there is no inventory holding cost in this simulation, it will be a key decision factor in the real world. Take a look at your job aid. These transactions can all be found to the left in the area marked planning process. Let's turn to SAP and learn how to change our demand forecasts. Transaction code MD61 is where you enter the independent requirements which are then used to execute the MRP process. We want to manage the forecasts for all our materials at the same time. They've been placed into a product group for this purpose. At the initial selection screen, choose the product group selection option and enter the product group. It is the same as your company code, your team letter repeated twice. At the planning table screen, you will see a schedule of months. Only the second column should have any values. Here you can adjust these from their current values. The simulation controls time, but as far as the SAP system is concerned, everything is happening on the same date, today. Do not use the other columns in this table. Only modify the values in the second column. And don't forget to save your changes. Let's recap. You must now manage the sales process as well as the procurement cycle and can adjust your replenishment strategy. This is the last round of the simulation. There is no penalty for having inventory at the end. Those products simply remain an asset on your balance sheet valued at cost. Take all you've learned and do your best. At this point, we will start the simulator and you're free to use the system and take action as you see fit. Good luck!